wind is whipping. I'm on the beaches here in Rockaway, Queens, and this is the scene. You've got these giant waves that have been crashing ashore, six to 10 foot breakers, but I think just by the looks of it, each one of these waves has got to be close to 10 feet, maybe even inching up a little more. You know, we're approaching high tide that's coming at about 244 this afternoon. I've already seen some of the water begin to come about halfway between me and where the beaches are breaking. So it's gonna be an interesting scene. So far, no major damage, no any signs of flooding, thankfully, uh, here on Rockaway, but things are gonna to continue to be pretty, pretty uncomfortable to get by, unpleasant as the wind whips around some of the rain that's come through. We haven't seen any downpours just yet, but just a steady kind of drizzle that gets whipped up by the wind. But the waves have been incredible, and this is what we're gonna be watching. The barrel curls as we get the spray back. Northeasterly winds for now on the beaches but it's been pretty nasty this, this morning to get by, and that's just gonna continue through the afternoon. Now, as we go into the second half of the day, the Northeast, where I'm standing, we're still expecting to see two to three inches of rain before it's all said and done. But Rick, I'll send it back to you in studio because travel is certainly going to be an issue. You know, we haven't seen too many people out on the roads. Hopefully flooding is remaining at bay, but it's gonna be a tough one for anybody who's trying to get out and about. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.